<clears throat> in this video today we're going to replace the blade of the Baco Laplander with a new blade the Baco XT7 as we can see my old Baco blade here is a little bent and the coating I find is a little hard to saw the new XT blade is supposed to be a lot better so we shall see and this is it here Change it, you close it. Set screw, you can do it just either with a Phillips or a flathead. Simply unscrew it. Guess it would have helped if I had the right size screwdriver, but you know, you work with what you have. Take it out, make sure you save that screw that falls out the back, which is held in. And pull your blade out. As you can see, they're both the same blade, so it'll work easily. I don't have any WD-40, but you put a little lubricant on it. Let's have some gun conditioner. So I'm going to use same thing, serves the same purpose. Dab a little on, rub it in, put a little on both sides. Now when you're putting it in, the button that you use to open it up, make sure that you press it down. Line the hole up. the nut back in, hold it with your finger, set screw, tighten it up. Open them in frame here. Press tight. Press the button. I found with the old blade, besides the bent part, that the black coating made it drag a lot. So I found that it was kind of hard to get it through. They say I haven't tried it out yet. With the new XT7 blade, the fact that it doesn't have the coating on it, that it should sharp uh, should saw a lot better teeth I don't s teeth are much longer on this one it doesn't have the long and short teeth like the older one so as soon as it gets warm outside I'll go out and try the new one and bring you guys back with me thanks 